for the opening round of the Luke RAC British Formula Ford 1600 Championship. And you may not think you're looking at a Formula Ford 1600 field. Well, unfortunately, we are. The strength of Formula Vauxhall Lotus and Formula Renault this year has resulted in very small grids in the early part of the senior Formula Ford season, but moves are afoot to improve that. No change, though, on the front row of the grid with two Van Diemen's. The Duckham's work-supported car of Michael Verges, number one. Alongside him, Duda Rosa, number two. On the second row, two Reynards, Gareth Rees, number three, and Finn Murray, number four. And as the lights flash from red to green, it looks as though it's the Duckham's Van Diemen that is pulling away into the lead. Looking in his mirrors is Michael Verges to see where the drivers behind him are. Ducking and diving to try and find a way past him, number three, Gareth Rees. But it's Verges in the Van Diemen who leads as they go into Redgate Corner for the first time. Up there and fighting with the front runners, number 47, Andy McCauley, in another one of the Van Diemen's. Verges leads downhill through the Craner curves, though, down towards the very tricky right-hander, the old hairpin, a corner you really have to think about very hard. Gareth Rees there in second place, McCauley is third, fourth is uh, Finn Murray, fifth is Duda Rosa. All goes to prove that uh, even if you don't have quantity, you can certainly have quality of racing, and this is every bit as close as we've come to expect the 1600cc Formula 4 to be. Onto the straights they go, Verges still leads in the Van Diemen. A challenge there for third place from the second of the Reynards, that's Finn Murray. And a challenge for the lead as well, Gareth Rees and Michael Verges side by side as they come up to the chicane, can Rees get past him? No he can't but Verges makes a mistake, locks a wheel, bounces onto the kerb and all of that adds up to number three, Gareth Rees in the Reynard taking the lead. Verges in second place, Duda Rosa in the second Van Diemen now up into third, having demoted Finn Murray, Gareth Reese's uh, Reynard teammate, down to fourth place. Well, now that Gareth Reese has uh, not only made a sensible manoeuvre himself, but also benefited from the slight error there by Michael Verges, is he going to be able to maintain this lead to the finish? Using every inch of track and even some of the curbs, both of these two young chargers very keen to make an impression. There are people here, of course, at uh, Donington today from the Formula Vauxhall Lotus teams. These two young men will be hoping that uh, FEL people will be looking to them, perhaps, to drive some of their cars during 1991. Gareth Rees then leads three or four lengths as advantage over Michael Verges. The RAC series, of course, the only Formula Ford championship with a manufacturer's trophy as well. So those points are being fought for here. And presently, Reynard leads Van Diemen. Under braking, Verges gets very, very sideways once again. He's putting himself under a lot of pressure in his efforts to get past Gareth Rees. Touring round slowly, number 11. He's got a bit of grass there in uh, the side pod there, and he looks as though he's got a bent steering arm as well. He'll be going into the pits, that's Warren Hughes. But we go back to the leaders, where Van Diemen is currently making no impression whatsoever on Reynard. Still, Gareth Rees leads the Dutch driver, Michael Verges, in the Van Diemen team this year. But a great battle uh, has developed uh, between Stephen uh, Markey, number five, and number 17, Dave Morgan. Steve Markey, of course, uh, with experience in saloon cars, the son of John Markey, who was a famous name in the past. But back to the leaders, and Michael Verges has got right with the leader now, Gareth Rees. Looks to the inside at the chicane, gets along the inside, but the wheels are interlocked on these two cars. No damage to them, however. A little bit of damage, possibly, to Michael Verger's uh, opinion of himself there. Didn't manage the manoeuvre that time, but he's sticking right with Rees. So still, with a couple of laps to go, Rees leads. Verger's is in second place, but he's right with him. The nose of the fat demon right under the gearbox of the Reynard as they go into Redgate there once again. Off down the hill, through the Craner curves. Towards the old hairpin, here they come. Rees it is, still leading. Verger's looking every way. Looks as though he locked a wheel there. Unusual place to do it. Power sliding through the old hairpin, bouncing on the curves on the exit of that corner. Markey and Morgan still battling here. Markey in number five. Morgan in number 17. Steve Markey is currently holding third place. Back up towards the chicane once again they come. Verges, is he going to try this time? No, he thinks better of it this lap. He remembers the previous lap when their wheels interlock. Gareth Rees nearly makes a very big error there. Got two of his wheels up onto the rumble strips and that does indeed prove to be an error because Verges has got back into the lead again. And look at Rees, he's trying to drive all the way around the outside of Michael Verges at Redgate. He can't do that, can he? But that's going to make him tighter to come out of Redgate. 
but no, Verges has got that one blocked very carefully this time. So Verges then back into the lead. Well, what a terrific race this is. As I say, although there's no quantity, certainly there's quality. Michael Verges then leads Gareth Rees. These two separated by a fairly short piece of string as they go under Starkey's Bridge, up towards McLean's. Here they come through McLean's, running very wide on the exit, onto the rumble strips again. Really shakes your hands when you hit those concrete strips on the outside of the circuits through the double apex coppice corner there and onto the straight. They're coming up uh, towards the bridge now, under the bridge they'll be going, up towards the chicane, this time for the last time. Michael Verges it is who leads. Gareth Rees is less than a length behind him. Rees looks to the outside, dives to the inside, looks to the outside once again, feigns he's going to get past. Verges locks a wheel, he's unsettled by the pressure he's under. He's on the kerbs, on the grass. Michael Verges spins out of the chicane. Gareth Rees goes past, punches the air, absolutely delighted, takes the checkered flag. So round one of the Luke British Formula Ford 1600 Championship. Rees wins, Verges second, Rosa third, Marky fourth, Dave Morgan fifth, Andrew McCauley in sixth place. We see that last corner incident from a different angle and there we see Van Diemen's chances of scoring maximum points in the first round spun away by Michael Verges. Gareth Rees went on to win. Here he is collecting his cup and his garland and a delighted lad he is.